So we took the towel, but we shouldn't have. We should have just made Ford Prefect glance uncomfortably at the sky and offer us the towel again. And then... And then do we take it? Continued to refuse to take the towel. <laughs> because why would we take a towel? I mean... Ford seems oblivious to your trouble, so you ask, Ford, what about my home? He looks startled, then guilty. He starts to say something and stops. He starts to say something else and stops. Suddenly, <laughs> he seems to see the bulldozer for the first time, stops starting to say things, and starts. <laughs> he seems to come to a momentous decision, says he has something of earth-shattering importance to tell you, and stresses the importance of a quick drink at the horse and groom. Pointing towards Prosser, you explain, The Thanban wants to knock my house down! This is the protagonist's voice, of mm. course. Ford yes. goes off for a quiet word with Prosser. From where you're lying, you can't hear what's happening, although they seem deeply engrossed in conversation. He can walk and not get hit in the face by a brick. <laughs> we can't. Well, he is P Ford Prefect, to be completely fair. This is true. So, now, I guess... What do we do now? I mean, do they're in conversation. I I don't know about that. I mean, we're still blocking the, uh, you know, I think if we stand up right now, we might still die. I don't know. Like, yeah, on, here's it, the thing. The guides, the seems, for, seems to be coming. guides for interactive fictions are often quite annoying because they'll just say, like, do this sequence of commands. And I wish it would yeah, say, you know, you know, this boring. is the circumstance. If you do this, this will happen, that sort of thing. And instead, they're just like, here is a script. <laughs> Let's just wait. Let's let's just wait. Um, you know, Prosser is sure to come to some conclusion. Ford and Prosser stop talking and approach you. Ford says that Prosser has agreed to lie in your place so the two of you can go <laughs> off to the pub. Reluctantly, what? Prosser steps forward and lies down in front of the bulldozer. You stand up. <laughs> What? Why did he do that? Uh, because Ford Prefect Ford. is extremely convincing. Yes. That's that's the reason. Didn't convince us to take the towel. <laughs> True. Fortunately. But now, us. now we can actually go south, <laughs> right? Yay! I mean, that seems important. I, I, I would assume we can now. He wants us to go to the horse and something. Horse and groom, wasn't it? Yeah. I am willing to believe it was the horse and groom. <laughs> it says right there, look. I don't read. <laughs> but interactive fiction. The pub is a uh, bit pleasant and cheerful and full of pleasant and cheerful people who don't know they've got about 12 <laughs> minutes to live and are therefore living, uh, therefore having a spot of lunch. Some music is playing on an old jukebox. The exit is east. There's a barman serving at the bar. Behind the bar is a shelf. Is full of so uh, the sort of items you find on shelves behind bars and pubs. I don't. We don't seem well, to have actually. Mm -hmm. We don't seem to be with Ford. I think we just left him. <laughs> yeah, he seems to be. Why is he not here? <laughs> Talk. Let's get a pint. <laughs> Order pint. <laughs> yes. I mean, you know, if we've got 12 minutes to live, the thing to do is to get God absolutely boozed up. <laughs> yeah. However much you clear your throat, wave your forefinger, or wiggle your eyebrows, wiggle the barman pays eyebrows. no attention, but carries on wiping another part of the, the bar. Hey, it's Ford. I, I lo that's like one of the most British statements I've ever seen. You you were trying really? to order a drink, and instead of going barman or actually say something, a, yeah, yes. <clears throat> that actually is very I, yes, it is. Ford is now hurried that's, after us. Is is he here then? Do we speak to him? I, I, I assume two. I assume two. I assume so. I, I doubt I the talk too, to too. Ford will work because it never has before. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to actually actually say things. Let's say hello to Ford, I guess. Say or hello ask him what's going on. To Ford. I I feel like we're overstretching you use the word <laughs> hello in a way that I don't understand. <laughs> Okay, Let's I'm, ask him what's so, going so, on. You know, judging by the guide, I'm just going to give a sort of hint line here, which is that you should anything that is so, you know, li like usual, there's the room description and then there's things in the room. You should really be examining things that are in rooms. <laughs> Maybe we should look at Ford. Uh, look at Ford. That's actually not the thing I was suggesting, but yes, oh, well, okay. <laughs> he is here. 
You see nothing special about Ford Prefect. Ford buys a uh, buys lots of beer and offers half to you. Uh, Muscle relaxant, <laughs> he says impenetrably. Um, he buys, I guess we want to drink the beer. Lots of beer. Just a, a metric lot of beer. <laughs> yeah, let, let's drink a lot of beer then, I guess. <laughs> drink a lot of beer. <laughs> I'm thinking lot as in, like, uh, uh, a area lot. of land. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, what? I, I use the word lot, but I don't know the word lot. <laughs> <laughs> let's drink beer then, I guess. <laughs> I mean, you know, we need a muscle relaxant. We need to be, uh, boozed up. Yeah, we need that for some reason. It's very good beer, brewed by a small local company. You particularly like its flavor, which is why you woke up feeling so wretched this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for a, an actual spelling difference. You yeah, were, that's, yeah. It was impressively not using any OU words. You were at somebody's birthday party here in the pub last night. I'm sure it's always somebody's birthday party in the pub. You begin re to relax and enjoy yourself, so when Ford mentions that he's from a small planet in the vicinity of Beetlejuice, not from Guildford as he usually claims, you take it in your stride and say, <laughs> oh yes, which part? <laughs> So this is his turn to do something, not our turn. So what the hell do we do here? I knew we could drink more beer. We could get real hammered. <laughs> Let's do it. I I'm up for that. We just need to pass time and let him, you know, discuss. And by we yeah, just need we're to, I mean, to we are now. down a path where we're going to die, just to be abundantly clear. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it is really very pleasant stuff with a very good dry, nutty flavor, some light froth on top, and a deep color. It is color. at exactly room temperature. You reflect that the, world, that the world cannot be all bad. What? So what's what's funny is I'm putting like the 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 emphasis I'm putting on that. To me, it feels like I'm making it more French, but actually. Yeah. When there's a difference in that pronunciation makes... between British and American. Every single time, American goes with the French pronunciation. Always. <laughs> if there's ever a difference in pronunciation, America and uh -huh. France are on the same side. So actually, taking the British spelling and Frenchifying it is going against the grain of reality. <laughs> against the grain of reality. That's, that's a phrase you just used. <laughs> it is exactly room temperature. You reflect that the world cannot be all bad when there is such pleasures in it. Ford mentions that the world is going to end in about 12 minutes. <laughs> I mean that. So we, uh, basically, we're guaranteed to die at this point. I, I think we're already screwed. Maybe we, there's a way out, but I, judging by the guide, I think we might already be screwed. So I'm, I'm just let's let you know, mm. let's keep getting boozed. I suggest. Yeah, I want to see where this goes because yeah, this description exactly, is actually changing every time. This, this is, is the kind of yeah. thing where like the guide won't lead you in the right direction. There's a lot of information uh, <laughs> uh, that that you're sort of missing. There's a distant crash, and uh, which Ford explains is nothing to worry about. Probably just your house being knocked down. Oh, that's fine. I, yeah, so, Let's run back to our house. <laughs> no, when your house is knocked down, you drink more beer. He bought lots, Pie. <laughs> he did. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> oh. You can hear the muffled noise of your house being demolished and the taste of the beer sours in your mouth. You get drunk and have a terrific time for 12 <laughs> minutes. Are the life and soul of the pub. Tell some really great stories. Make uh, everyone laugh a lot. And they all clap on your back. Clap, clap you on the back and tell you what a great chap what? you are. And then the earth gets unexpected demolished. You wake up with a hangover which lasts for all eternity. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, so... I'm so I'm thinking in terms of the movie at the very least, and that's the point that we would run to the house. I'm pretty sure. Wait, that... Are we that? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, this was, uh... He's lying there. We okay. Oh, yeah. So so we need to now go south and west. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is good. Yeah. Okay. I, I just didn't remember precisely when I'd last said. Uh. So, if you're yes. in a place in a game like this, <laughs> and there are uh uh any items in the room, anything that's on a separate paragraph. Look at the shelf. There you go. You should you should definitely. Okay, Look at or examine the shelf. I hope look at will work because if it requires oh, it you to examine, work. then that'll be really annoying. <laughs> Wouldn't be very English. On the shelf behind the bar is the usual array of bottles, glasses, and soggy beer mats, some packets of peanuts, and a plate of uninviting cheese sandwiches. Ford hurries after you. That doesn't seem to have changed anything. 
Well, I mean, we now know what's on the shelf, and we have a better sense of what this bar actually has to offer. Let's get some peanuts. Let's buy some <laughs> peanuts. Well, no, well, I, well I, I, it does we say steal them. <laughs> it does say packets of peanuts, not so like if it was just like so if it was Eat on packets. the bar, just a, a thing of peanuts, then those would be free. But let's buy peanuts. However much yeah. you clear your throat, wave your forefinger, blah blah blah. Can't buy peanuts, buddy. Still yeah, bought us. Bought anyone listen to us? Lots of beer. I'm just, I'm just gonna uh, skip ahead. I'm just gonna buy a cheese sandwich. Yeah. Just. <laughs> oh, what? What? That works. Why does that work? Because it costs more. The barman gives you a cheese sandwich. <laughs> the bread is like the stuff that stereos come packed in. The cheese would be great for rubbing out spelling mistakes. And margarine and pickle uh, performed an unedifying chemical reaction to produce something that shouldn't be, but is, turquoise. Since oh. it is clearly unfit for human consumption, you are grateful to be charged only a pound for it. Drink the beer, just Ford. It will help cushion your system against the coming shock of the matter transference beam. That sounds important. We should maybe eat the sandwich. Uh, I mean, or drink the beer. That's not I what guess. he suggested you do. <laughs> <laughs> but it's turquoise. It's very good beer. This is actually exactly the same. It is. Yeah. But he didn't say the matter transference to me before, so we're on the right path. So we're least. on the right path, yeah. We should probably well, continue. We so you were you were exactly right. Beer. We should run back to the house. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. But we should do that, you know, when we have the cheese sandwich and he's told us about the matter transference beam. That's all. Ah, okay. It's probably just your house now being knocked down. House. I don't like when my house is knocked down, so maybe maybe we I should deal with that circumstance. <laughs> yeah, might be a good idea. I also did a little bit of saving there. You see a huge bulldozer heaving itself among the cloud of brick dust, which is all that remains of your home. As you start up the lane, a small dog runs towards you, yapping. Can we kick the dog? No, let's not kick the dog. Kick dog. <laughs> 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 Please end the game. I the hope dog it's a tries to bite your foot. Well, well, it didn't kill us. I think for the sake of the Twitter account, can you pet the dog? Pet the dog. We need to pet the dog, or at least try. I think we need to pet any living creature we see, apart from Ford. The dog tries to bite your hand. The dog carries on <laughs> yapping for a moment, then gulps uncomfortably. Let's pick up the dog. We, we don't want the dog to die, do we? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, he's kickable. Not bloody likely. <laughs> he's trying to bite and yap, and uh, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't like you. That's that's not going to happen. But well, we don't have the towel, so we can't wrap the dog in and then pick him up. I think, uh, yet again, if there is a thing in a place, you should look at the look thing. Look at the dog. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if this is going to help, because, again, it doesn't really, uh... There we go. The mongrel looks hungry. Oh, maybe we should give it the cheese sandwich. We didn't want the sandwich. Give sandwich exactly. to... I was about to type Gog. <laughs> give to sandwich Gog. to Gog. <laughs> Gog.com, yeah, okay. This game is not on Gog, probably because it's licensing hell. <laughs> The dog is deeply moved. With powerful <laughs> sweeps of its tail, it indicates that it regards the cheese sandwich as one of the great cheese sandwiches. Nine out of ten pet owners could happen by at this point, expressing any preference they pleased. But this dog will sp would spurn them all at their tins. This is a dog which has met its main sandwich. It eats with passion and ignores a passing microscopic fl space fleet. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can we pick up the dog now? Or maybe pet the dog first? I'm not sure. <laughs> well, now would be the time to pet the dog, now that it's uh, uh, not, not all gonna try to eat yappy us. at you. We need to, I, for, for science, we need to know whether you can pet the dog. Yes. Nope. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow! We just fed the damned thing. It was so thankful, now they just try to eat us again. 
Well, if the dog well, is still gonna kick if the dog is gonna get all bitey on us, then we should get all bitey Punch on the dog. dog. <laughs> Stuffing the dog in your mouth <laughs> too little to help with this. <laughs> I all any time I play an adventure game, I just have pika. It's like <laughs> yeah, basically eat everything. Eat Ford brief. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's obviously just gonna give us exactly the same message, but I would like to see yeah. stuffing Ford prefect in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, freezing game. <laughs> It would do little to help you, but it could do a lot to help him, I mean. <laughs> I mean, I, I just... Uh. <laughs> so anyway, we didn't try picking the dog up, but I don't think that's going to happen no, if you're no, trying no, to you you pet the thing. You can't get the dog, no. We, but we've seen that there was a microscopic space fleet. Maybe we should look at the fleet, yeah. Uh, I think they f they flew by. Like it I did indicate that they flew by. Yeah. We could we could try. I, I have no idea. Again, like the guide is just you know doing exactly these steps. <laughs> you can, yeah yeah it's gone. It's it, gone. It, it is microscopic to be fair. Hmm. I mean, we did. I mean, we're we're point, being distracted we here from the uh, the house. <laughs> We should look at the house, yes. Yeah, yeah, we'll maybe, go towards the house, perhaps. Yeah, maybe let's, you know, as much fun as we're having trying to discover if we can pet, kick, or eat the dog, maybe we should consider <laughs> the fact that our house has been destroyed. You reach the site of what was your home. It is now a pile of rubble. Mr. Prosser looks sheepishly triumphant, a trick few people <laughs> can do, as it requires a lot of technically complex deltoid muscle work. I like how it still calls this front of house. <laughs> Even yes, though. the house which is now destroyed. Yes. Well? <laughs> hmm. Well, we can say something to him. What would we say to him? What the hell? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not going to help. I mean, we, we, we also, order. we haven't looked at Mr. Prosser really. Oh, yeah, because we couldn't because he was always in the distance. Let's look at him. Okay, that is literally the exact- okay. is standing on the other side- he's just always hiding- the bulldozer's already destroyed the house, but he just loves hiding behind the bulldozer. <laughs> now, which direction is that in? It doesn't tell us, so we can't go towards him. No, well, and also, I think he, like, anywhere we go, he's just gonna run around- he's the opposite and, side Yeah, exactly, yeah. he's, uh, he's just afraid of us because he just destroyed our house, so. Reasonably sort to of be afraid at that point, I imagine, yeah. Um... Can we go inside the house? <laughs> uh, I, we can. We can find out. <laughs> oh, we can't steal the watch. <laughs> well, we we can't steal it using the verb steal. Take watch. <laughs> you can't enter a pile of rubble. <laughs> With a noise like well, a cross I mean, between Led Zeppelin's farewell concert and the eruption of Krakatoa, a huge fleet of Vogon uh, constructor ships flies overhead and announces that Earth will be demolished to make way for a new hyperspace biopass in two of your Earth minutes. In all the turmoil, you drop the thing your aunt gave you, which you don't know what it is, and it rolls away. It is the least of your worries. Anyway, you've been trying to get rid of it for years. <laughs> Can we pick it back up? <laughs> get Probably not. Thing. <laughs> You can't see anything well, here. <laughs> <laughs> that rare circumstance where anything and anything are completely distinct. <laughs> well, at this point, I would try to ask Ford what the hell we're going to do. Ask Ford what to do? <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> You use the word what, what in a way I don't understand. It doesn't seem like we can specify what to say to people in general. No. there's I, uh, Probably like yes and no would work and there's probably some specific answers, but I don't think that that's really Yeah. Anything. So can we just ask Ford? I just want to see what the, the extent of what we can actually do. Like if you can just that's ask a, Ford and it'll just say, well... <laughs> whatever the correct, yeah. What do you want to ask Ford about? Look at Vogon ships. That might help. Look at Vogon sheops is what I typed, but let's go with sheops. <laughs> sheops. <laughs> 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 
The fleet consists of terrifying numbers of huge, ugly yellow ships, all scarred with the results of much, uh, many such past demolition jobs. Chicago's John Hancock Tower, knocking about a bit and painted <laughs> yellow, is what they each look like. Knocked about, okay. <laughs> that is, okay. knocked about a bit, painted yellow, and flying. The vast yellow ships That's thunder across the sky, spreading waves of terror and panic in their wake. The voice of the Vogon captain slams across the country, insisting that the planning charts and demolition orders have been available at the local planning office in Alpha Centauri for 50 years and it's too late to start making oh. a fuss about it now. Throughout the oh, noise, Ford complained. is shouting at you. He removes a small black device from his satchel but accidentally drops it at your feet. <laughs> Let's pick up the device. Let's get device. Yes. After saving. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Taken. Fierce gales whip across the land, and thunder bangs continuously through the air in the wake of the giant ships. Ford fights to reach you, but the wind is too fierce. Further announcements for the Vogon captain make it clear that demolition will begin in just a few seconds. Through the blinding light rain, you see lights flickering on the small device. <laughs> Pika, eat the device. <laughs> <laughs> Ford Prefect <laughs> dropped something, so I'm going to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I like how that took a move. Is. Great. <laughs> so that, that took a move, which was definitely a great idea. <laughs> yeah, we needed that move to look at <laughs> we it. We probably needed that move to look at it. But sure, let's look at the let's device look now at the and device. then die. <laughs> <laughs> We just had to try to eat it. You have died. The electronic yep. sub ether signaling device is shaped like a small fist with an extended thumb. That, yeah, that exactly not very appetizing. Various lights along <laughs> its knuckles are currently blinking wildly, indicating a spaceship in the vicinity. It has two small buttons, a red one labeled Call Engineer and a green one labeled Hitchhike. It bears a small mm. label which reads, Another fine product of the Sirius Cybernetics Corporation. Affixed to the thumb is a lifetime guarantee. The Earth is destroyed by the fleet of Vogon constructor ships. You have died. <laughs> well, balls. <laughs> let's maybe restore. That's uh, yeah. Let's let's try not to die quite so much. I like how it always shows your, you your score, even though it has a status line that is constantly showing you your score. <laughs> yes, that's helpful. Uh, let's get the device again. That was certainly right. Oh, we already know what the device is at this point. That's weird. Uh, well, that's because it's when you load it now it's like on yeah, the ground so it has to get yeah. the, the, that name it, we don't know how to use it but we can still probably just push the <laughs> hitchhike button yeah let's just push the push the green button let's then. skip actually looking at it and knowing how it works let's just magically exactly. use it Lights whirl sickeningly around your head, the ground arches way away beneath your feet, and every atom of your being is scrambled, an experience you're probably going to have to get used to. You are in... Dark. Dark. Oh. It's dark again. Let's turn on the light. <laughs> uh, okay, we can turn on light. That'll certainly work. Yeah, definitely. There's nothing you can taste, no. nothing you can see, nothing you can hear, nothing you can feel, nothing you can smell. You do not even know who you are! <laughs> well, that's dramatic as hell. <laughs> hmm. Let's... Wait, because we haven't materialized yet. We may indeed be not fully materialized. You can't That's hear anything, anything, see go. anything, smell anything, feel anything, or taste anything, and do not even know where you, where you are or who you are or how you got ah. here. Let's wait some more. It's progressing. Maybe. <laughs> I, well, it is a different message. So, yeah. therefore, something has happened. You can hear nothing, smell nothing, taste nothing, see nothing, feel nothing, and are not even certain who you are. Okay, a little bit better. Let's wait. Things can only get better. This is the point <laughs> well, where it says we died. <laughs> you can see nothing, feel nothing, hear nothing, taste nothing, and are not entirely certain who you are. Right, well, let's wait one more time. The messages are getting, you know, 
different. <laughs> They're changing. They are. Things they is happening. Oh. <laughs> oh. You can't hear anything, see anything, feel anything, or taste anything. Oh, okay. Never. This this actually looks largely the same, just said more it verbosely. Does. <laughs> and do not even yeah. know where you are, who you are, how you. Oh, actually, this is the same as a few messages ago. It is exactly uh, the same. No, yeah. it isn't exactly the same. It's no, it's close. not. This is weird. It's shifting around the sensors and every single thing to make it more difficult to determine which one's. Well, so the one we added moves 39. It's almost identical, but not quite. Can't hear, see, smell, sniff. We can smell things. S sniff, 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 sniff. <laughs> Yes, that's what human sniffing sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> it does smell a bit. There's something pungent being waved under your nose. Your head begins to clear. Hey. You can make out a shadow moving in the dark. Look at shadow. Look at shadow. <laughs> the hedgehog. The hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> We're morons. <laughs> Yay! This is a squalid <laughs> room filled with uh, uh, filled with grubby mattresses, unwashed cups. Oh, the shadow is vaguely Ford Prefect shaped. I guess I should include that. <laughs> uh, unwashed cups and unidentifiable viable bits of smelly alien underwear. A door lies to port, and an airlock lies to starboard. In the corner is a glass case with a switch and a keyboard. Just like a, a normal, you know, keyboard as found on Earth Absolutely. in the 1980s. A QWERTY keyboard, yeah. yes. <laughs> like a, a very clicky, mechanical QWERTY keyboard, as would be found on the device we're looking at. Like a <laughs> Yeah, mm, yes. In the corner is a teletype machine. Welcome to the future. <laughs> it looks like the glass Let's case talk on it. contains an atomic vector plotter. Along one wall is a tall dispensing machine. Ford removes the bottle of Santragini and mineral water, <laughs> which he's been waving under your nose. He tells you that you are aboard a Vogon ship and gives you some peanuts. Eat peanuts. I mean, if he's offering peanuts... Let's take them peanuts. You feel stronger as the peanuts replace some of the protein you lost in the matter transference beam. They worked freaking quickly. <laughs> well, you know, you just, you need some protein. Uh, <laughs> Doesn't matter where it is in your body, as long as it's inside of it. <laughs> it's, that part of the matter transference beam is that it makes your uh, uh, metabolism, like, magically fast. Uh, so... Mm, I see, okay. So, there's, there's a lot of stuff in this room. <laughs> there is, isn't there? Yep. Hmm. I want to look at the glass case. Okay, let's l look at case. It contains an atomic vector plotter. We know that much. Hmm. The glass case is closed. It's, oh, thanks. It's literally well, exactly what you already said. <laughs> press switch. <laughs> press switch. Watch it say, I don't know what switch you're talking about. Or, or you have to turn the switch with a screwdriver. <laughs> Hey, it didn't. A recording place. Oh, God. I learned here about a bush was go to Ako near Judge This tastes very Rot 13 to me, or Rot something anyway. It does, doesn't it? Except AI is a bit suspicious. Okay, let me. Doesn't, uh, doesn't seem to be Rot 13 or nope. Rot anything else. <laughs> nope, we just had, we had to try it because we're idiots. But I mean, it, I... it did a thing. We pressed a switch, a thing happened. Yes. Let's type on keyboard. <laughs> uh, I don't... Let's look at the keyboard first, actually. Look at key. We didn't look at the switch. We just pressed it. <laughs> That's true. At least we that didn't have, have also to turn helped. it with a freaking screwdriver. <laughs> You see nothing special about the keyboard, which is shocking given it, it, that you're on an alien ship. Exactly. <laughs> Let's look at the switch. I want to see what the switch actually says, even though it's probably going to be the same gibberish. I mean, it is a thing. It's there. It is. You see nothing special about the switch. Ford yawns. 
Matter transference always tires me out. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap. He places something on top of his satchel. If you have any question, here's the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> Footnote 14. Ford lowers his voice to a whisper. I'm not supposed to tell you this, but you'll never be able to finish the game without consulting the guide about lots of stuff. As he curls up in a corner and begins snoring, you pick up the Hitchhiker's Guide. We don't even have the choice to not pick it up. It picks it up for us. Let's read it. Let's eat it. <laughs> you won't be able to finish the game without the Hitchhiker's Guide. Okay. Um. <laughs> 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 Fair enough. <laughs> Let's maybe I just, read the guide. All I want is a text adventure game where you can eat literally every object in the game. Try consult yeah. guide about something. Oh, it's actually giving us a specific command. Consult guide about Switch. <laughs> 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 the Nintendo Switch won't be released for 30 years after this game is made. That would be amazing. <laughs> the guide checks through its sub-Ethernet database and eventually uh, comes up with the following entry. That is one of the great unanswered questions for... A I, 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 I don't know why I gave it that voice. That's one of the great I unanswered mean, questions for a list of the others. Consult the guide. You mean you. Yes. Myself. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Just out of sheer curiosity, I'm going to consult Guide about Guide. Yes, I was, I was, I was just thinking that. <laughs> you never know what'll happen. The Guide checks through its sub-Ethernet database and eventually comes up with the following entry. The Hitchhiker's Guide is a wholly remarkable product, but then again, you must already know that since you bought one. Mm, technically, we didn't, I'm afraid. <laughs> We're a we pirate. Did just sort of take one, yeah. <laughs> Let's consult the guide about Ford Prefect. Ford Prefect is edible. <laughs> <laughs> Eat him. <laughs> the guide uh, blah, blah, blah. That is oh. one of the great unanswered questions. Really, all the guide knows about is the guide. <laughs> so, there is one thing that you know we kind of have to ask it given the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. You know what I'm thinking. About answer to life. Exactly. The universe and everything. I feel like I... I it, it, this has to be in there. What? The answer to, maybe? But, it, I Once. mean, if answer... I don't, I, I don't know. That's a real... That's a big thing for it to not have in there as an Easter egg. There's got to be some way to get the right information out of it. It's got, yeah. I just don't know what it is. Okay, so what was the ve the vector part or something along those lines? What was that? Let's that look was, around the room. To that was in the case. In the case. I want to consult the guide about that. Okay. Sorry, I just looked because I wanted to remember what the heck is around us. Yeah, I, I couldn't remember the overall. Oh, yeah, now, now, because Ford Prefect dropped it, there's a satchel and a towel and a Ford, uh, and no. a glass case. And <laughs> so the atomic vector plotter is in the glass case. And remember, the, the switch and keyboard were on the glass case. So I don't know if we can open it. And along one wall is a tall dispensing machine. Uh, Let's look at the machine before we ask the guide about the plotter. How about that? Okay, I just almost typed consult look at machine. <laughs> <laughs> consult the machine about the guide. <laughs> consult switch about guide. <laughs> it's tall, thanks. That was in the, the dispenser is tall, has a button at around eye level <gasps> with an unneeded hyphen, and says Babel Fish in large letters. Anything dispensed uh, would probably come out of the slot around knee level. It bears a small <laughs> label which reads, Another fine product of the serious cybernetic corporations. It is, of course, well known that careless talk costs lives, but the full scale of the problem is not always appreciated. For instance, at the exact moment you said consult guide about answer to life, the universe
universe and everything, <laughs> a freak wormhole opened in the fabric of space-time continuum and carried your words far back in time across <laughs> almost infinite reaches of space to a distant galaxy where strange and warlike beings were poised on the brink of frightful interstellar battle. The two opposing leaders were uh, meeting for the last time. A dreadful silence fell across the con conference table as the commander of the Vlhergs, resplendent mm. in his black jeweled battle shorts, gazed <laughs> levelly at the g government government leader squatting opposite him in a cloud of green sweet smelling steam as a million sleek and horribly beweaponed star cruisers poised to unleash electric death at his single word of his command the Vlherg challenged his vile enemy to take back what it said about his mother the creature stirred in its sticky sickly boiling vapor sticky vapor and at the very moment the words consult guide about the answer to the life, the universe, and everything <laughs> drifted across the conference table. <laughs> Unfortunately, in the Vlherg tongue, this was the most dreadful insult imaginable, and there was nothing oh, for no. it but, uh, but to wage terrible war for centuries. Eventually, the error was detected, but over 250,000 <laughs> worlds, their people and cultures perished in the Holocaust. What have you done? What have you done? I did that. <laughs> You have destroyed most of a small galaxy. Please <laughs> take your words with greater care. So that w what would have happened at that point if we didn't say that? I think that. <laughs> I, th I think that just always happens. So that's just an incredible coincidence then. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> that's something we're going to so, have to say at some point further the, ahead. Because the thing is, reasons, as but. usual, the guide is, you know, here are moves for you to do. I actually found a guide that says a little bit more than that, but it doesn't say anything about that. Uh, right. So I assume that just happens. <laughs> okay, so the dispenser... Da, 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 da. Let's press the button. Press button. We want the babel fish. We want the babel fish. Yes, we do. The d <sighs> Wait, can we press the green button again and get beamed out into space? I would love to do that. Let's do that immediately. <laughs> yes. I agree. Maybe after a save. <laughs> Nothing for the oh. Okay. I am I, I am emphatically not saving for reasons that might become obvious. <laughs> or they might not. Oh. I don't know if this has to do with time or with you have to solve this puzzle. So it might be that, it, that oh. I'm not saving, but not for any good reason. I but, see. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, well, let's... Let's press the dispenser button. If you're going to be all picky about it. I kind of want to remember what the red button does on the device. Because that did something it else. Calls an engineer. calling an engineer. Yeah. Which we might we might want to do. A single Babel fish shoots out of the slot. It sails across the room through a small hole in the wall just under a metal hook. Let's press the red button. <laughs> okay. It's there! It's a button and we haven't pressed it before, exactly. so we must. With a screech of ion brakes, a serious cybernetics corporation repair robot pulls up on a bike from out of the sub-ether. Let's look at it. <laughs> look at repair robot. Roboto. I just decided that all words that start with an R need to have a rolled R. Oh, come on. They do you just use what? those words, you piece of trash game. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> You see nothing special about the end. Really? Well, I mean, uh, okay, apparently it's a very Earth-like robot. <laughs> you see nothing special about the engineer robot. The engineer robot looks around. Somebody call the repair service? An announcement is coming over the ship's intercom. Words? Let's not try to type this out or anything let's like not, that. Well, no, let's not copy this down, but let's note the fact that it sure would be nice if we could understand that language. <laughs> Yeah, now let's try to hook the Babel fish, the, bab the Babel fish, sorry, with the hook, because we want it. Of course. I have no idea what you want me to type right now. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. How would we... Uh, and through a small hole in the wall, it's gone. It's through the it wall. Is, it's, it's through the, the hole in the wall. It is It is vanished into the ether, into the sub-ether. The ether. The sub-ether. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So, 
I just because once again you have forgotten to do the the obvious things. Oh, did I forget to look at the thing? Let's look at the hook. <laughs> Oh, yeah. The hook is attached to the wall inches above a tiny hole. The engineer ro robot looks impatient and guns the throttle um, on a cycle. I think we probably shouldn't have uh, <laughs> summoned the engineer the robot. robot at all. Yeah. <laughs> You'll notice that I haven't saved for a bit. <laughs> I have noticed this, yes. I mean, since I'm saving in separate files, it doesn't matter anyway. I can always back up, but... Uh, <laughs> so, can we pull the hook? We can type the words pull hook. <laughs> Whether it'll, we can actually do that or not is, yeah. Can't move the metal hook. Probably well, a kid playing around with someone else's thumb, grumbles the engineer robot <laughs> and roars off on his iron bike into the sub-ether. And another wow, announcement that's... is coming. He has a lot to say hmm. that we don't understand. If only we knew what these said. Yeah, it would be nice yeah. if we understood them, but we don't. <laughs> but unfortunately, the, the babel fish just seems to keep going through that hole in the wall. Yep. Hole in the wall with a hook above it. Inches above. And we can't move the hook. Can't pull the hook. Can't move the hook. Hmm. Can't re Maybe we could hang a hook. towel on it. Uh, hang towel on hook. We might have to take the towel first. We might first. have to get the towel first. I think this yeah. game has been pretty wise about letting you do that sort of at once. It slips off the hook. It's not a towel hook, Pie. It's not meant for towels. <laughs> but as I guess we don't want to stab the towel and pierce it. That would be dangerous. No, oh, it's a different <laughs> announcement. As well. uh, the, the announcements have been different every time. It yeah. has. Yeah. We're, we're missing a lot. <laughs> we're missing some critical information here. Can we reach into the hole? Is that something we can do? Can we well, it does say that uh, it's a tiny hole. <laughs> Mmm, for our tiny hands. I have... <laughs> Luckily, your hands are only about, you know, a quarter inch uh, around. Ah, well, that didn't work. Well, okay, fair enough. Um, what else did Ford have on him? Satchel, towel, that's it. Let's look in the satchel. Let's look at the satchel. <laughs> All that. Again, with looking at things when they're there. The satchel, which is closed, is fairly bulky. Open satchel. Then perhaps look inside of it when we die immediately. Yeah, yeah, I, I think happen. we're going to be dead very soon. You can't. It's not yours. It's Ford's and it's private. You know what? Fair enough. <laughs> Let's wake Ford up. 